Hey, what's up everybody? It is Kellen here from Start Your Systems and welcome to MX Bikes where today we're doing our first installment of Track Walk in MX Bikes. That is right, you guys asked for this one many a times over and uh, today we're going to get down and do it. Uh, just excited to get some new content out on, on the channel in regards to MX Bikes because I know a lot of you guys have been asking for it lately and uh, this was a decision I came to where I just decided, eh, MX Simulator, we've done Track Walk and MX simula Simulator for a long time, and uh, when Sim goes away, I don't want Track Walk to go away, so eventually it need to carry over into another game, and this does not mean that MX Sim Track Walks are going away. Uh, this just means that we're now doing Track Walks in multiple games, so expect it in, uh, you know, not only bikes, but other games as well, and hopefully you guys enjoy that this is going to be a transition we'll be doing and, and starting to do kind of I guess they're like track reviews I mean it's essentially what a track walk is but really it's just to show off the track so you guys can try it out and like see something new for the game um, that maybe you haven't seen before anyway here in MX bikes today we are playing Paletta Raceway 2020 the uh, latest update that was put out by TFC over the weekend and uh, I've been wanting to start the track walk series in MX bikes for a while but I just I wasn't really like a hundred percent sold on any track uh, so now this track came out and I'm like, yeah, this is perfect because it's a really good custom made track by one of the legendary creators in the game. So it's like a good way to start it off a good kickoff track, I should say. And, uh, really excited to play and talk about this track by TFC. Um, I've played the original play to raceway before on the channel. You guys have probably seen it. I did a, uh, MX bikes progression video on the original play to raceway. Uh, back in 2016 maybe or so um, but it's been a while so maybe you don't remember this track or, or maybe you own MX bikes and you've already played this track I'm not 100% sure uh, who you are and where you're watching from but hopefully you enjoy taking a look at this track today um, so for starters again TFC he's like a legendary track creator in MX bikes he's made tons of tracks uh, a lot of which people I think have probably played some if you own MX bikes before um, and uh, this track to me is just is one of the the better like custom tracks in the game right now. Uh, there's a lot of really good custom tracks, so I don't want to say it's the best or anything like that. But you know, a lot of people I think right now in MX bikes are transitioning towards uh, replica tracks, a lot of replica Supercross tracks, some uh, replica motocross tracks and stuff like that. So it's cool when you have like this full blown custom style track pop up and and be playable. Um, and I really really enjoy this track it's got a great flow uh the ruts everything it's built so well like i just can't really find a fault with anything in terms of the build uh the actual environment is really cool for me i like this environment because it's really similar to um palm desert palm springs area which i live fairly close to i'm not like really close but uh, it wouldn't take me too long to drive there so it gives me that kind of vibe where it's like I, I almost know where I could drive to find something that looks exactly like this landscape. Uh, it'd be cool if I found this track there too, because this track would be super awesome to ride in real life. Um, <clears throat> but I'm just a really big fan of this environment as a whole. He, he put it together so well. The windmills are always a nice touch on really any track, but then uh, the actual like outer layouts of the design, he's built some like custom bridges and uh, towers and stuff like that that overlay. Andy did something really cool with this track that I actually haven't seen on other tracks, although I'm probably just blind, uh, where he included uh, moving objects out of bounds. So there's a road to my right right now, it'll be on my left eventually, that has like cars and, and RVs and stuff that are, that are traveling on it as if like there's a like a local highway nearby that that uh, people are driving on and stuff like that, which is really cool because th that kind of stuff you can do in MX Simulator now, but you couldn't for a long time and people I still don't think really uh, gravitate towards doing that. So when I first saw that going across the screen, I'm like, what, how in the heck? That is really cool. So I like that touch. Um, green fencing all around the track and obviously like some wood plank fencing that just kind of cordons off the rest of the racetrack as well. Uh, the finish line banners are more like old school 90s moto banners, which is really kind of a unique touch as well. Um, and then obviously the track itself, I just think really, really good flowy track. Um, I'm terrible at breaking bumps in this game for some reason. I don't know why I've just never been really good at like attacking them and, and like not crashing a bunch. 
So this track to me is is kind of like an anomaly, I guess, because I'm actually half decent in the breaking bumps on this track. No idea why, like what about this track it is that um, other tracks I'm terrible on breaking bumps or whatever. Maybe th these ones are just a little bit smaller, a little better sculpted perhaps, but I just don't feel like I have any problems in the breaking bumps on this track, which again is another thing that I really like about it because it you know, just makes it that much more like kind of fun and flowy for me. God, get this triple. Oh, just a little short there. That is a huge triple. And it seems like every lap I just case it super hard. Um, but yeah, the ruts, braking bumps, all of it, it ties together really well. Uh, the actual layout and design of the track, to me, really, really good and, and kind of fun, easy to ride type of track. It's not anything where uh, you come up on a section and you feel kind of surprised by how gnarly the section is or anything like that. So um, that part of it I'm a big fan of. There's not any, like... I feel like rhyme or reason why jumps are in certain spots. He just looks like he kind of, you know, sculpted good jumps for the section. Uh, as you go up these hills, the uphill triple, there's like tables and triples and doubles all over the track. It's kind of mixed about, which again, I kind of like as well. It's not just like big booter, big booter, big booter turn. Uh, I think some people would enjoy that because this game is really fun to pull whips and stuff on, but I also really like the more realistic aspects of racetracks that are uh, created in this game, and I think he just did a good kind of holistic job of including a variance of jumps. It's not just one big tabletop every single straightaway. Lots of different options and, uh, you know, cool lines and things like that. So um, just overall, just a big fan of this track. Like, he's just put a lot of time into it. You can tell uh, the layout, the, the design of everything really really nicely done um environment wise it's it's killer in my opinion and uh a track that i would recommend you guys try out hence why we're doing a track walk on it today let me see if i can break my current lap record there the 205 with a good final corner here nope i'm gonna blow the corner but let's see if i can still get back on before my ghost comes by and wow i beat it by three tenths of a second but i guess it didn't give me the lap time or something like that all right, so there are two Supercross tracks also tied with this track. And I'll go to this one here behind the start gate first, and then we'll go to the infield track next. Um, this one over here, I believe, is a replica of the 2017 Honda test track. 2017 or 2018 Honda test track. Uh, I could be dead wrong, and uh, if TFC watches this video, maybe he could uh, yell at me in the comment section below. But I do feel like I've seen this track before. And I just, I feel like it's the Honda test track. Again, I probably am wrong. Uh, either way, really, really good, fun, flowy Supercross track. Uh, Supercross in this game is, as you guys know, very technical and difficult. Like, you have to be pretty skilled at the game, I think, to, to really know how Supercross flows and feels because you just have to be so precise. Um, and this track, I think, is just such a good base Supercross track. There's nothing fancy or gnarly about it. He didn't overbuild anything. There's nothing that's like too hard of a, a huck or a jump or anything like that. Um, I often compare Supercross tracks to the Glendale 2019 track built by Astrail, I believe. Or no, by Ruben Kilder maybe uh, in this game because it, it felt like it was like a standard Supercross track to kind of base a lot of things off of. And that Glendale track is built in such that like jumping stuff on a 250F is very difficult. Like you have to get some really really good drives out of corners and stuff like that to be able to jump some stuff Ooh, going over the bars but on this track i don't feel like there's anything that's really like a, oh i gotta have this manic drive to be able to clear this jump or anything like that like he gives you plenty of room to kind of space stuff out and really get a, a good flow through each section um i'm not sure whether or not that was like in, intended or whether it's just the design of this track helps with that kind of aspect but I don't feel like this is a crowded Supercross track at all. Um, it's got just a real easy kind of rideable aspect to it. It's got some different options in every rhythm lane like this one. Uh, you could uh, go two, two, three, four in it, although I didn't get it that time. And uh, the whoops are really well built. I've uh, picked up on the new lean back technique in the whoops, which I was not very good at in the previous beta, but the new beta 14 that came out recently seems to have helped with leaning back in the whoops and not having some like stupid random loop out or anything like that happen so that i'm a little better at and overall i just feel like the supercross track kind of emphasizes all the things that are good about supercross in this game um you know it, it's a pretty small scale supercross track like i've seen some bigger scaled supercross tracks but i don't think that it 
is bad that it's small scale. Like I think it almost works better that it's small because it forces you to kind of like slow down and think about some of the things you're doing before you just kind of huck a jump or whatever. Uh, and I like that because that's, you know, the technique, the technical abilities of Supercross that uh, are presenting itself on this racetrack. And uh, big fan of this track over here. Let's see if I can get this triple on. Nice. Just jumping in from off track. No biggie. Let's finish up one more lap and we'll go explore the other Supercross track on this lovely Paletta Raceway V2020. Oh, oh, baby. Almost looped my Larry at the end of the whoops there. Let's get a big whip off on this jump. Uh, I guess I'm 360ing. <laughs> it just went a little bit past that 180 degree angle and I just flipped off the side of the track. All right, that is one of the Supercross tracks. Let's go ahead and head over to the other Supercross track now, which is in the like kind of triangular infield over here. So we're gonna have to just kind of saucily cross the racetrack over here. Rop. And here's the other Supercross track. So this one, it has like a, uh, I guess you call it a start line that would exist right here. The other one is pretty clear where the start line would exist. This one, I guess, is just going to be right here. Then it goes into this uh, first turn area. Kind of has... So this rhythm section, I am having no luck with. I can't seem to get a triple off in it. And I think the second I got any triple in that rhythm section, the rest of the section would flow great. But I can't bust any triple in it. And because of that, it's just double, double, double all the way through, which kind of sucks. Reminds me a little bit of that Glendale 2019 track that I was talking about. But the rest of the track, to me, perfectly built. Really fun. The scaling is good. Uh, it's pretty simple to get the rest of the track down pretty pat, in my opinion. Um, got a little, like, roller into a Supercross triple section right here. That's pretty cool. Then we U-turn and get a drive for the whoops. This one's, like, a little bit easier to get on top of these whoops because the drive is just a little bit straighter, I think. Then you U-turn down here. And this one, you got a triple in here triple again and then you can I think you can quad I just am not talented enough to get that quad swing around this corner and then you can carry the speed to quad onto that table but I didn't get it I'll get it next lap time bye and then back onto this start straight so it's a pretty straightforward kind of like baseball diamond style lap uh, backflip it oh man um I, again I think I feel like I've seen this track before. Um, it might be another test track that I just uh, am uh, drawing a blank on from the past. But uh, again, very well built. The scaling is, I think, just about perfect for the kind of playable aspects of this game. Like it's not overscaled, it's not underscaled though. Um, I, I just, this is a good layout. It's a good racetrack. Feels good, rides good. I don't think there's anything really wrong about it. Again, I wish I could do anything different in that first rhythm section than kind of double all the way through. I'll try a couple more times in this video to get it right. But uh, really, the rest of the track just perfect, in my opinion. I, I love this track. This is a really good, uh, nice, flowy Supercross track by uh, TFC here. And uh, yeah, so we're doing track walks in MX Bikes now. If you guys are really interested in these track walks and you want to see a lot more of it, because I think I'm going to try to do these every single week alongside the sim track walks now uh give this video a like let me know with your likes that you are enjoying this video and you want to see more of it uh that's the best way to kind of show your support for this aspect of the uh track walks in game now so we're gonna do mx bike stuff gosh i wish i could just get one of these triples i just don't know which jump it is one of these jumps it has enough lip that on a 250f you can get a triple off i just don't know which one it is um Anyway, yeah, if you guys are really into the MX Bikes track walks, you want to see more MX Bikes content, liking this video is the best way to show your support for that. And uh, also in the comment section below, recommend some tracks to me. I know a lot of the tracks are in this game. I do a lot of research when it comes to like finding tracks for this, so I'm not completely oblivious to some tracks that you guys will probably recommend. But it's still nice to get a good tally of other tracks that I could ride or should ride uh, going, and maybe there are ones that I've missed that I'd also like to check out. So. Uh, let me know in the comment section below whether or not there's a track that you guys would be interested in me playing as well. I'd be happy to take a look at the very least, and uh, who knows, maybe it ends up being a track I do for track walk. But uh, yeah, Paletta Raceway 2020 by TFC here. Definitely go down to the description and download this one. Uh, if you haven't played this track before, you're seriously missing out because this is one of the better custom tracks in MX Bikes for sure. And uh, TFC, legendary track builder. In, th in fact, the thread that I'll link you to uh, with this track on it actually has a couple other tracks on it as well. I believe uh, Iron Man 2019 and a Supercross track or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. I'm probably wrong on that. 
Maybe it's the second triple in there that I need to get. I just need to downside that first one. I know that there's an inside line that I could take too. So if I want, I could cut down the berm early here and take an inside line and double in. But I don't, maybe if I double in and then triple, I don't know. I'm just so lost on this rhythm section. I just, on a 250F, you just don't get enough oomph on any of these to really like carry your speed the way I think you want to in every section. Oh, I got a triple. Oh my gosh. Okay. Double, triple, triple, and then table over single out. Okay. All right. Well, that's better than uh, what I was doing before, which was just, you know, God awful rolling and doubling all the way through it. All right. We're picking stuff up <laughs> just in time to end the video. Again, really hope you guys enjoyed this uh, new edition of track walk here in MX bikes. Still doing MXM track walk, so don't worry. Those are coming in hot and heavy, but appreciate you guys checking out the channel as always. Really, uh, Hope you guys enjoy your Memorial Day as well. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next one. So long for now.